Colossus challenge. Very nice. Okay, Jubilee, you can take that health. Let's try confusing the physically resistant enemies before they can let off one of their huge ground pounds. They seem to do quite a bit of damage. Oh, smashing all the walls, leaving them bare, just seeing the very bland textures underneath, getting rid of all this wonderful decoration. Oh, yeah, fun for me, not so much for you. You've just gotten wrecked. Well, there's Healer. So, we're we going to have another boss battle against Marrow by herself. Didn't work out too well for her last time. Kind of absolutely destroyed her. Or does she have some we'll extra do. tricks up of her, her sleeve this time? Let's find out. Please, X-Men, free me from this cage. You'll have to find a mechanism to open the door. All right. You got it. Ah, so I'm thinking that gate that's closed there, we're going to go through a whole bunch of other rooms and end up coming back there. Maybe. We'll You're see. For a world of hurt. Are we still fighting someone? Did someone else pop in? Maybe he went invisible, I didn't quite see him. Guys, do you want to fight this guy? No, just let me do the work while stopping me from doing the work, getting in my way. Alright, fair enough. And you can take a barrel to the face, because why not? Why not? Yeah, I think we're going to end up circling our way around to where that gate was. I think that's definitely going to happen now. Okay, someone's going to get completely wrecked. Ah, uh, let's see Nightcrawler's ability again. Because if we come across a room absolutely full of bad guys, it'll look a lot more impressive when he's zipping in between all of them, rather than just a few of them. Okay, just a million barrels meter smash. And there's the lever. Okay, so we didn't actually work our way around. We're going to have to take the long route back. But, he's free. That's the main thing. Oh, and the gate opens. Okay. Marrow's somewhere beyond there, then. Let's work our way back. The long way. I should have known the X-Men would free me. Bless your hearts. You're welcome. Are you okay? Yes, yes. I'm quite unhurt. Marrow hasn't grown foolish enough to attack me. Why were you imprisoned? I think Marrow had heard enough of my complaining. 
Gene Nation indeed. Marrow is going to split the Morlocks in two with her fantasy talk of living on the surface. Is Marrow working with the Brotherhood? Yes. She's ferrying the followers of Magneto. She helps them get to a place called the Mount. From there, they are transported to his base. How is Mara getting them to the Mount? They are using something called the Gateway. What is the Gateway? I don't know. But I believe it to be in that room. Well, let's take it then, and you should return to your shop now. Thank you, X-Men. I will. Okay, anything else? Just because you have an should... exclamation point above your head? No. Well, see you then. Hi. Who are you? Oh. Hello, Gateway. We're here looking to get to the mount. Is there some sort of gateway in here? Yeah, that's kind of been spoiled by him having his name above his subtitles. Please, we need to get to the mount so that we can stop Magneto. He's going to start a war. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Guess we have to go through there if we're going to find the mount. Let's go. What is this place? How far were we transported? X-Computer, triangulate on my signal and tell me where we are. Your present location is Longitude West. 78.52.13 Latitude South 1.3.22 Wow, we're at the equator. Computer, notify someone at the mansion that they need to bring the X-Jet down here to pick us up. So did Gateway just send us far, far away from where we actually want to be? Affirmative. Guess it's time to do a little investigating. Yeah, guess we'll find out. Well, isn't this place charming? And here are the Acolytes. Ah, probably don't want to go in that. Okay, I'm thinking. Will do. Sure thing. The next yeah. uh, checkpoint marker I come to that I can swap out characters. I'll switch to Magma. I think she'll do a lot better here than Iceman. This place uh ooh, it's gonna leave him a little hot under the collar. Okay. Big move time. Boom! Zooming around all over the place. Wonderful. Okay, Iceman, let's have you finish up these enemies as we'll be swapping you out in a second, and never mind, everyone's defeated already. Sure thing. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this place, a little bit too hot for Iceman to comfortably roam around in. Let's switch to Magma. Plus, if I need to create any bridges here, I'm thinking that, uh, yeah, ice above lava, that's a little bit dangerous. I don't want to trust that. Well, I've got tons of equipment here.
Okay, so far most of the Acolytes have energy attacks. Oh, and you're actually energy resistant, so let's pound on you a little bit. I did pretty good, didn't I? There we go, and you can both stay up there. I need to find a... well, let's just see if it's destructible. Nope. Need to find a way to get that enormous gate open. Challenge for magma. Suitable place to have it. And a sketchbook. Manual of the pack. I'll have to see what that is later. Check around here. I don't think I can keep going that way. I'm tempted to try and jump it, but uh, yeah, I don't quite think that's the way we need to go. So, up here instead, where there's a little less chance of immediate death. I wanted to knock him off, but I think there's an invisible wall there stopping them from being knocked back properly. Oh, well, there's a platform down there anyway. I want to knock them into the lava. Ah, console panel. That should open up the path for us. Like so. Okay, guys, keep up. Let's get out of this incredibly hot area. Try and find somewhere a little bit cooler. Because I suspect Magma, she's feeling perfectly fine and comfortable here. The others, oh, starting to sweat. So, to the transport conduit. Huh, maybe Gateway did send us exactly where we need to go. Oh, this is actually looking a bit worse. Never thought you'd get this far, ex ladies. Oh, good avalanche. That's definitely the villain we want to fight here, where all the stage is extremely hostile, and if the floor starts giving way and breaking apart and crumbling, we get to fall into lava. This is where you're transporting mutants up to asteroid M, isn't it? You punks aren't as dumb as you look. With the coming war and all, we've been very busy transporting new recruits. But why come here? Why doesn't Gateway move mutants directly to Asteroid M? The little guy's powerful, but he can't reach that far. We're going to shut you down, Avalanche. Give it your best shot. If you insist. Okay, let's first figure out where Magma is. There she is. Oh, and the guy stood next to Avalanche was Sabretooth. Does he not get any dialogue? He's a pretty important character. Okay, let's focus on Sabretooth first. And as he's physically resistant, yeah, we'll stick to Magma until we run out of energy for her. And then, let's switch to Jubilee, because why not? Oh, we've been slowed. Alright. So, we're actually kind of fine right now. I was thinking... Avalanche, yep, this is the perfect stage for him. He can take out sections of this platform we stood on. And eventually, we'd be in some trouble. But, nope. Actually, unless he does a big super move... Quake. Okay, is the platform falling apart? No, things are falling from up above instead. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we're trapped. Let me out, let me out. Yes. 
Super combo. Okay, so things falling from the sky once again, that's fine, as long as it doesn't fall on our head, we'll be fine. And as always, I'm feeling like we're cheating, really. I mean, it, oh, Sabretooth is back up. Okay, that's pretty awesome. How much health does he have? Okay, not full, just a little bit. Yeah, that's awesome. So because he can heal, he doesn't stay knocked out for long. Very nice. Okay, let's finish off Avalanche. And yeah, I'm feeling like I'm cheating because it's the four of us versus two of them. Combo. Well, they're done. <laughs> Looks like the nice guys come in last again. What are you talking about? We just beat you. We're not just going to let them run away. We're just going to let them run away. No real reason for it. And he destroyed Great. There's no way up to Asteroid M now. So... Back to the mansion. <laughs> we are standing on the edge of an abyss, and by God, our very existence depends on immediate, decisive action. There is no negotiating with the mutant blight. Ladies and gentlemen, I offer you a way to eradicate it before they... Well... Silence, human. Your plans to destroy mutant kind will not come to fruition. This pitiful attempt failed, but it has sealed your fate. Let your followers know that it was you who set this war in motion, and let their anguished cries keep you warm in the, in the days, days to come. come. Yeah, either Magneto escaped and destroyed all the sentinels that were surrounding him and carrying him to where he was going to be held prisoner. Or he's being controlled by someone and yeah, I'm, no, he's all the way up at Asteroid M now. He just escaped. This isn't working out the way you promised. Don't be so naive, Havoc. How can we ever hope to live peacefully with a species that regards us as abominations? But using this Gravitron of yours is, is, is madness. Then let madness be the mother of change. No, I won't let you do this. <laughs> is, is this the ultimate plot line? Magneto switches the poles. We are not merely their equals. We are their superiors. He swaps the poles and great floods Ravage the earth. I looked down upon creation and said, Let there be darkness. You set these events in motion the first time you laid hands on one of us. You have always looked down upon mutants, feared us, hated us. And now you shall reap what you have sown. Oh boy. The decision is yours. Okay. Everyone's dead. Oh, that is a weird plan. Okay, I thought he was just bombarding the Earth with meteors, but... RBN World News, I'm Deborah Owens. It's been two weeks since mutant leader Magneto began using his powers to encircle the Earth with asteroids. Currently, 90% of the sun's energy is being blocked from our atmosphere. As a result, there has been a 20 degree drop in the world's median temperature. At the UN, world leaders spoke out today, denouncing Magneto as barbaric and calling for retaliatory action. In the US, the president stated that military forces have focused their attention on finding Magneto's base. Citizens of Earth, I am Magneto. I have three demands which must be met unconditionally. First, all anti-mutant programs are to be terminated immediately. Second, the island of Genosha in the Indian Ocean will be granted to me as a sovereign nation. Finally, General William Kincaid will be handed over to me for trial under mutant law. If my demands are met, the 
sun will shine again. If I am defied, the chill you feel now will become the endless winter of your discontent. The choice is yours. You know what? I'd let him have it. <laughs> yeah, just, just give in to his demands. They're not that bad. It's fine. Quite reasonable, actually. Since Magneto surrounded the Earth in asteroids, things are really starting to fall apart. Humans are close to declaring all-out war against mutants. I wish Professor X were here. He'd know what to do. I hope they figure out a way to help him escape from Shadow King. Yeah, hopefully that's what we'll be focusing on now. Jean's end table. Lying open-faced on the table is a romance novel entitled Rebel of Love. A note barely conceals a bare-chested Scotsman embracing his lover as a village burns in the background. It reads, if you like this one, I have all 14 of them. Rogue. 